Hi guys, this is going to be part 5 of the chain logger videos. I was aboard the boat yesterday and did a bit of work, so let's start out by uh, going over what I did yesterday. I glassed in the mini bulkhead separating the hoses for the water tank from the chain logger. I also started on glassing in this piece of PVC tube. You might be wondering what the purpose of this PVC tube is. Albin, when building the ballot and all of the wisdom, decided to run some of the uh, wiring inside the sandwich construction of the deck. The uh, wiring for the forward lantern exits the deck right here, and I didn't want to have a uh, wire hanging here, and I didn't want to have any way for water to enter into the sandwich construction through the hole where the wire exits the uh, deck right here. So I cut a piece of PVC pipe in half, I sanded it, I stuck it up there with some tape and proceeded to glass it in. That sums up what I did yesterday. Now let's get started on the least fun part of what I'm going to be doing today, and that's more sanding. I want to prep as much of the uh, inside of the chain logger as I possibly can for uh, painting before putting in the bulkhead. When the uh, chain logger is all glassed in and cured up, I want to paint the inside of the chain logger with a two-part epoxy primer. Now that's not really necessary, but it'll make it look nice, and uh, wait, that's important too. That was the noisy bit of sanding out of the way, but luckily there's Plenty of hand sanding to be done also. Yay! Oh, wow, that is such a fun way to spend an hour. Before glassing in the main bulkhead of the chain logger, I want to be sure to remember to add this little screw hatch to the mini bulkhead. For sealing this up, I'll be using a dab of Tech 7. Just to be on the safe side, I've removed the uh, hatch. I don't want to accidentally have the Tech 7 find its way into the hatch and cure so that I can't unscrew this. That would be really annoying. This is the main bulkhead of the chain logger. As you can see, there's a bit of fiberglass I need to remove where the hatch is going to fit. Okay, a quick sanding around the edges here and this should be ready to glass in. Now that this has been sanded, let's go ahead and give it a quick wipe down with some grease remover before seeing if it actually still fits. <laughs> also, after that I'm probably going to be cutting it somewhere around here because I want to be able to access the underside of the chain locker as easily as possible. Luckily the bulkhead still seems to fit. Now, I don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick this up, but I've had to sand the uh, inside of the uh, bulkhead here a little bit just because I got some epoxy on it. Luckily, I've got a lot of paint left over from when I painted the shelves and the tiny clothing locker. Like I mentioned, I want to be able to remove this bottom part of the uh, bulkhead right here. That's going to allow me to gain access to the underside of the chain locker and also to gain access to the hoses going to the water tank. Before cutting this bulkhead in half, I want to make sure that I have a way of securing it to the hull while the epoxy gets a chance to cure. I don't want the bulkhead to slip out of place while the epoxy is curing, that would be really bad. If I ever need to access the compartment underneath the chain locker, all I have to do is undo two screws and remove this bottom piece of the bulkhead. Let's get started on glassing this in. Now this is going to be a little bit messy, because I'm going to have to stick my head in there to see what I'm doing and uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to start with the bottom and then work my way up either side and then finish with the very top, because I certainly want to limit the amount of epoxy that gets stuck in my beard. 
You guys have already seen me mixing up thickened epoxy and laying up fiberglass, so uh, I think what I'll do is I'll turn off the camera, I'll crank up the Jim Buffett, and uh, then in the two hours or so I'll show you the finished result. Whenever I have the camera running, I can't have any music on because that would violate copyright and YouTube would get angry at me. And for this job, I really would prefer to have a bit of music in the background because it's gonna take a while and it's pretty boring. Well, that was a lot of fun. Nope. <laughs> it's kind of crammed in there, so I only managed to uh, glass in both of the sides and the bottom. Uh, the top part will have to wait till next weekend. I think the next time I'm going to build one of those, I'm going to do it slightly different, because working inside the chain locker is, um, well, like I mentioned, crammed. So hopefully next weekend it'll be warm enough that I can cut the hole in the deck. Right now the temperatures are still a little bit low, and while well, the fact that I picked up the slow hardener by mistake makes it even worse. But fingers crossed next weekend will be a warm one. Okay guys, that's it for this time. See you! Yerkul and I hope you've enjoyed this video. To be notified about new content, please click subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I suggest you check out the introduction playlist. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment.